Masters week, and we're getting into the swing of a new golf season. Okay, you were the first lady to ever drive over 350. That is three and a half football fields. So you've got a long game. Uh, that, that's, that's my strength, Jill. So, okay. you know, exactly. So, and, and a lot of golfers are looking for distance. Yes. And, and people always say, you know, when they ask me, they find out I'm a long driver, the first thing they do is they grab my arms and they're like, hey, Lisa, look, oh, two tickets to the gun show. Right. It has nothing to do with arm strength. To, to get more distance, it actually has to do with your core and your legs yep. and making a good turn. Okay. So, you're going to show us some tips on how to improve our distance. So, Absolutely. how to improve our long game. And for that, I'm going to stand back because that's a very <laughs> long driver that you have right there. It is. It's a sustainable. Standard gentleman's driver is 45 inches, minus 48, which is uh, the longest allowed by the USGA and RNA. The longer your shaft, the more clubhead speed you'll generate, but the harder to hit straight. Okay, so okay. You're, you're preferring this driver right now. I, for me, yes, yes. yes. I, for long drive and what I do for long drive, this is what I, and if people are looking for a little distance, try a longer shaft as okay. well. All right. Now, for t distance tips, uh, number one, you have to make a good turn. I would say 80% of women struggle hitting it over 200 yards. Why? Because women tend to be arms lifters. So if you took a picture at the top of my backswing, you'd be like, oh, Lisa. A great, yeah. great backswing. I haven't turned one bit. And so what happens, all ladies do is lift their arms. All they can do is drop their arms, and they'll hit it 150 yards straight Beautiful. down the pipe all the time. But the, down it, the green. Exactly. And right. if you have people are hitting their 7-iron as far as their 8-iron, as far as their 6-iron, it's probably because they're arms lifters. Okay? So we Hands need up. to create turn. So the first thing we need to do, we need to break the body into two halves. If this is the upper half of the body and this is the lower half, you need to wind up with the top. You need to make a turn. A great swing thought for that is you want to take your lead shoulder when you're starting your backswing yeah. initiate your backswing with your lead shoulder so for a right-handed golfer that would be your left shoulder that forces you to make a good turn you can also think turn your chest behind you or turn your back to the target ah. anything that makes you turn yes now I find guys are pretty good at that but where guys suffer is they'll make a good turn so this creates coil and torque however when they really want to kill it they start with that back shoulder and by the time they get to impact all that coil and torque is gone so it's really important to wind up from the top but yeah. unwind from the bottom. So that's turn the lead hip, turn the lead pocket, turn the belt buckle, turn the guts, whatever it is that makes it turn. Now, not a slide. That's yes. a power leak. It's got to be a turn. So a great swing thought, Jill, is turn your shirt in your backswing, yes. turn your pants in your downswing. Look at that. There's a lot going on there. Whew, I know. So that's why simple swing thought. Turn your shirt in your backswing, turn your pants in your downswing. Okay. And you can practice that before you actually... Absolutely. In your practice swing. Absolutely. Okay. Follow through. Oh, also important. Jill, you nailed it. Uh, you can have the greatest turn in the world, but what I find, people on their practice swings have these beautiful practice swings. They go and hit the ball, and they're like, whoa, what happened? They cold, they cold top it. What happens is they stop swinging. So once they get to the ball, people think their job's done. They stop swinging. Weight goes on the back side. You need to accelerate through this ball. Your club head should be moving fastest three feet past the ball. To really accelerate and get maximum distance in all your clubs, yep. not just driver, yep. I need to see you accelerate through your ball. You should finish with all of your weight on your front side. In fact, you should see your whole sole of your back foot. If I can't see the entire sole of your back foot in your finish, yes. you absolutely have left at least 10 to 15 yards in your bag. So I should see the whole sole of that foot in your finish with all the weight on the front side. Okay, so leave it all on the, on the range Abs and in the distance. Absolutely. Love it. Other trip. Oh, two, two other really great tips would be, I would say, fan that front foot. So when you set up, if my feet were dead straight and I made a swing, this is as far as I can turn. My belt buckle would be facing towards the corner of the studio. If I take my lead foot and fan it to about 45 degrees and now make a swing, now my belt buckle goes 45 degrees more. So it more creates torque. more turn and anyone with knee issues, yeah. it takes pressure off the lead knee. Uh -huh. um, you can actually fan both feet if you have two bad knees, but if your back leg is okay, keep that straight. By fanning that front foot in all your clubs, not just driver, so much easier to turn the pants. Okay, and yeah. I don't know if it's impossible for you to get more <laughs> enthusiastic about this sport, but who are you watching in the Masters? Oh, I'm telling you, we have three Canadians in the field, uh, which is so exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm voting for uh, Adam Hadwin. He's yeah. Canadian. He's had a win in a second and was the first Canadian ever to shoot a 59 uh, this year. So go, can go Canada. And we've got uh, Mackenzie Hughes and also Mike Weir, former Masters champion. So three, three Canadians to cheer for. Uh, it's going to be an exciting week. Okay, this is contagious. I don't know if, if anyone else <laughs> is buying into golf season, but you certainly have me sold as per usual. Uh, Lisa, you did 
put an additional 80 yards, I think, on oh, the swing. Oh, Jill, last time when we, we went, together. well, Jill, you're a dancer, so you've got the core and the legs. And when we finally got you moving that, Jill added 80 yards to her drive. Eye on the ball. That, that's my problem. <laughs> all, all these things pulling together. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me, and Jill. Congratulations on all of your success. Thank you. Uh, continue that into the golf season.